of all the teams we've been on, I feel like it's the most depth at every position offensively. This is probably the deepest room BYU's ever seen. There's a, a different feel to the team this year, and I, and I like it. We are live at Studio B. This is your day-to-day -day BYU sports play-by-play. -play. I'm Spencer Linton alongside Jerem Jordan. I like the confidence. Right? Two we just newcomers heard? feeling uh, good about the group. Yeah, leading that running back's room. They've both been at two other schools, by the way. This is their third school. They have a sense of sort of what a team looks and feels like at the beginning of the year. When we talked about that specifically yes. yep. in the interview that you're about to see is what is it about BYU that makes the Cougars different for a guy like Aiden Robbins? Again, Deion Smith we'll hear from later this week. But there's also a new nickname for the running back's room. That and more discussed in my one-on-one -on -one with the new BYU RB1, Aiden Robbins. Aiden, how would you sum up your first day of training camp as a BYU football player? Oh, very excited. I'm not going to lie. Um, it was good to get out there, you know, get acclimated, <clears throat> you know, get around my teammates and really get that first, you know, that first practice and the first official practice. I practiced in the spring, but it was nice to – get the team periods, get the one-on-ones, you know, all the action, man, with the guys standing all around. So it was, it was nice, man. It was nice to be a part of BYU first Big 12 practice. What are you trying to accomplish, especially in these first few days of camp? Um, just, you know, getting the offense down, um, minimizing mistakes, um, you know, learning my teammates, obviously learning the defense I'm going against, and, you know, just, just trying to perfect, perfect my craft. How are you feeling as far as health and hand and, and being as close to 100% as possible? Yeah, I mean, I feel good. Obviously, you know, from this point on, your body's never going to be 100%. That's just how it is playing, playing this game. But, um, you know, I feel good and I do my best to, to recover. That's, that's part of my job, too. So, <laughs> What have you noticed that is immediately different about the culture around BYU football, especially out of practice? Just a bunch of good human beings, man. There's a lot of good people around here. Um, <clears throat> you know, just, just being around this great place, all the beauty. I mean, look at the mountains behind us, man. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. You know, I, like I, I've said this a thousand times, I never thought I'd be at Utah, but look, here I am. Um, I play for a great coach who's a better human being than he is a coach, which is, which is great. I would love to, I, I mean, there's a bunch of great coaches out there, but you want to play for a guy that actually cares about you and loves you and, and is kind of a father away from home. Yeah, I'm really grateful for that. Aiden Robbins is with us on BYU Sports Nation. How would you explain the BYU running backs room right now? This is probably the deepest room BYU's ever seen. Um, I've been a part of some really, really good running back rooms, specifically at Louisville. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I love the guys, man. We all hold each other accountable. We all push each other to different heights. And, man, I'm just excited to to see the, the, uh, the stable go crazy this year. The step show, we call, it, we call ourselves the step show. The step show, what's the story behind that? because we're all steppers. We're all step. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As you stare down Sam Houston State in, you know, roughly a month from now, where do you feel like BYU football, as an offense specifically, has to improve the most? Um, I think just, just overall, just making sure everyone does their assignment. I mean, there's 11 people on the field at a time, and you can't have success unless all 11 people are doing their job, and that's from the O-line, the running back, the quarterback, and all the receivers, tight ends, just, just everyone knowing their assignment, and and doing what they're supposed to do. What's your quarterback like, specifically Keaton Slovis, and working with him? Keaton's a great dude, man. <laughs> I mean, that's my locker. That's my locker teammate. Um, you know, we're next to each other, locker room. We do a lot of things together. Um, obviously, there's a lot of media about both of us, and you know, that's cool and all. But man, above all, Keaton's a great dude. He's a leader, and you know, that's what you want. You want your quarterback to be a, to be a leader. You want him to take control, take charge of things, and he does a great job of that. He's a pro. He's a pro at what he does. When you see those preseason accolades, whether it be for you or for Kingsley Suamatai or for Keaton or for somebody else on offense, how do you handle those things, especially when there are so many question marks around BYU football because you have so many new moving pieces? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, it's, it's a blessing. Don't get me wrong. You know, I, I, love, I love all the, the preseason accolades, man, but I want the real thing. Um, you know, I support my teammates. I'm happy for everything, but our goal right now is to win a championship and then everything will follow through. Aiden Robbins again on BYU Sports Nation. I want to talk a little bit more about your quarterback. I've heard a number of your teammates on offense just explain him as a true general. What is it about him and his demeanor on the field in practice that makes him a general? Like I said, he's a pro. He comes to work every day. Um, he's not only a vocal leader, but he's a leader by example. And um, I like to follow suit with that. Um, you know, he watches film. 
he gets extra work in and <clears throat> you can see he's hungry. You can see that he wants to do better and you can see he wants to lead this team and we all have the same goal in mind. I want to talk about your running back teammates as well, just because I want to get Aiden Robbins' words. So when I say, you know, Deion Smith, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Speed. He's a great receiver out of the backfield. Um, great dude. That's my dog, man. I love all them boys. Deion, Falau, Miles, Enoch, Luve, I, everybody in the room, man. I love I love all those guys. LJ, you know, he just got here. But, um, yeah, we got a great room. It's about eight of us right now. All eight of us can go. If you're already giving yourselves a nickname, there's there's a brotherhood there, clearly, right? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, Aiden, let's finish with this. Um, some BYU fans may have seen a certain promo that you were in recently, and uh, Feastbox is a proud sponsor of BYU Sports Nation, okay? <laughs> but you fumbled the pizza. When I asked you about it, you said, I don't fumble. I don't know why they had me do that, but you, they had you do that. Why did they have you do that? I mean, we were all sitting at the table. We were filming um, a piece of the commercial. And, you know, Jody comes up, he's like, all right. Well, when Jody was, you know, one of the cameramen, and they were like, oh, um, okay, well, now we need someone to just trip over an imaginary rock and just drop the pizza. And everyone at the table just goes like this. And I'm looking like, like, what y'all looking at? They were like, oh, come on, Mr. Charisma. And I'm like, okay, all right. So then, you know, I just put my acting skills on. You know, hopefully uh -huh. hopefully with my career, then I can get a couple <laughs> a couple shots and uh, an opportunity and get some, some acting in. <laughs> As the kids say, he's got the riz, right? <laughs> I got a little bit of riz. I can't lie. I got, I got something in my pocket. It's on the holster. <laughs> I love it. Aiden, thanks for the time. Sure, Great to have you out here at practice. Thank you so much.